In this chapter, I am going to explain about the fundamentals of computers. I think you all are well aware about what a computer is. It is an electronic machine. It can work fast and accurate than human beings. It can do so many activities. The computer can write, read, draw, paint, count and even play with you. Computer can do calculations at a very high speed. All the calculations that means everything like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It can also be used to compare two or more sets of data to determine about which one is greater or whether they are equal or not. The results of all these calculations will be displayed on its monitor. That means its screen. Friends, you know that the parts of a computer can be classified into three units. First one is input unit. Another one is central processing unit. And last one is the output unit. Input unit. As the name suggests, Input devices are those devices which are used to enter data or give instructions into a computer. Mainly keyboard, mouse, scanner, joystick and microphone are examples of commonly used input devices. Without any input device, we cannot enter any data or give any instructions to a computer. Friends, I now think that you have understood what input unit or input device is. Keyboard is a commonly used input device. I suppose that you all have already seen those small buttons on a keyboard which are called keys. Each key has a letter, a number or a symbol printed on the buttons. It helps us to write name, age, phone number or any such data into the computer. The keys on a keyboard can be classified into four like alphabetic keys, numeric keys, function keys and special keys. Alphabetic keys. The key from A to Z are called alphabetic keys. Numeric keys. The keys from 0 to 9 numbers are called numeric keys. Function keys. The keys from F1 to F12 are called function keys. Special keys. Special keys are used to perform some special operations. Enter key, spacebar key, backspace key, delete key, etc. are some of them. Let us now think about another input device. It is the mouse. Mouse is a pointing device used to give instructions to a computer. It can be used to draw pictures also. You might have seen a small arrow moving on the screen that is the image of the mouse on the screen. It is called the mouse pointer. The mouse has two buttons and a scrolling wheel. Basic mouse operations are as follows. Single click is used to select a program or a file. Double click is to open a program or a file. Right click is used to display the properties of a file and drag and drop is used to draw pictures. Also it is used to move files, folders and icons from one place to another. Scanner. A scanner is used to scan and store documents into the computer. Documents include photos, pictures, letters, project works, etc. Any of our memorable moments already photographed can be stored in a computer and you can keep them safe all in your life without damage. To store photos into a computer, place your photos in the scanner and press scan button. The scanner will capture and scan your photos which can be stored into the computer very easily. Friends. Have you seen microphone in your computer lab? It is another input device used to record voice, music and sounds into the computer. It can also be used to chat with your friends and relatives through computer with the help of a network. Here is another input device. 
It is the digital camera. It is used to capture and store photographs and videos. In a digital camera, photos and videos are stored digitally instead of a film. It helps us to copy captured pictures and videos into a computer. It is a portable device and we can carry it anywhere for using it with other computers. But web camera is something different. It is usually fixed on the computer and used with the help of it. It is the same as digital camera but it's generally used to see your friends and relatives at any part of the world while chatting through the internet. Joystick is also an input device. It's very popular among children like you, I think, because it's used to play games in a computer. It helps us to control the movements while playing games. Other input devices are as follows. Magnetic ink character reader is a device used to read data directly without entering data manually into the computer. Biometric. This is a fingerprint scanner which is used to track employees, attendance, including details about their entry and exit. Barcode reader. This equipment is used for reading printed barcodes in a product. It's mainly used in textiles and supermarkets. Trackball. It is a pointing device with the ball on top and on rolling the ball with the thumb, you can move the pointer on the screen. Light pen. Light pen is the pointing device used to draw pictures directly on the screen. Designers use light pen for their drawings. Pen tablet. It's used to draw pictures into the computer using a pad and a pen. Output unit. Friends, do you know what output devices are? As input devices are very familiar to you now, let me say like this. Output devices are used to get the output or results from the computer. It's clear now. It may be pictures, sounds, printouts, etc. Some important output devices are monitor, speaker and printer. Monitor. There are three types of monitor, CRT, LCD and LED monitors. It is only the visual display unit of the computer. It displays the output according to the activity we have done using a computer. It's also known as the screen of the computer. Dear friends, we all are well aware about speakers. They help us to hear the voices, music and sounds from a source. Speaker gives a multimedia effect to the computer as it gives the output of our audio files. There is another one. It is the printer, which is used to take printouts of documents, pictures, graphs, etc. The documents you typed will appear on the screen of the computer. These documents can be printed on a paper using a printer. This is known as printout. The printed copy is also known as hard copy. Different types of printers are laser printer, inkjet printer and dot matrix printer. Dot matrix printer is used for printing documents by putting several dots on the paper. Inkjet printer works by spraying ink on the paper. Laser printer works with the help of laser beams to print. Other than printers, there is the plotter. Plotter is used to take printouts of large drawings and graphics. It is common in the field of advertisement for getting large pictures and also in engineering and areas like science and technology. I suppose you know about the most important part of a computer. It is the CPU, the central processing unit. It's also called the brain of the computer. It's used for managing all the components 
which function as a system in a computer. It carries out the instructions of a computer programs by performing the basic arithmetical, logical and input-output operations of the system. Have you ever seen a CPU kept opened? If not, never be worried. Let's have a view of an open CPU now. It contains a motherboard, a processor chip, a SMPS, etc. SMPS is the unit which supplies the required power to all components in the computer. CPU is divided into three parts logically. Arithmetic and logic operations are performed by this unit. Addition, subtraction, comparisons, etc. are some examples for arithmetic operations. Control unit is the most important part of the CPU. This unit controls and coordinates all the activities of the other units such as ALU, memory unit, input and output devices, etc. The control unit takes the data and instructions from the input and transfers them from memory to ALU and vice versa. It also sends the processed data to the output device. Memory unit is the storage unit of a computer. All the data according to each and every program are stored in the memory unit. All the activities that you do using a computer can be stored in the memory unit. The computer can remind us about our files only if they were saved already. Storage devices are used to store data in the computer. These are just like shelves in your school library. Here, in these devices, you can store files, documents, pictures, programs, operating systems, etc. The two main storage areas in a computer are primary storage and secondary storage areas. Primary storage device is the RAM, random access memory. It stores the primary data while working on a computer. Secondary storage devices are all the other storage devices like hard disk, CD, DVD, pen drive, etc. It can be very easily plugged into the USB port of the computer. The computer automatically detects the new device and creates a new drive for it. Now you can access pen drive or any other secondary storage device just like any ordinary hard disk drives. Memory card. Regarding this, friends, I can say that most of the people are using memory cards even in mobile phones itself. It's also known as memory stick. This device is used to store and transport data from one location to another.